Okay guys, we're back for the next part of the chain method and hopefully you've gone through this the first 10 words and you were able to remember them quite easily by linking each each word with the next and if you did do that you'll have noticed how amazing this is because it just kind of happens as you imagine the first word the second word comes as you imagine the second the third just comes into mind and you'll begin to see how this system works so let's move on let's learn the next 10 and then we'll have 20 words learned so next we have grass and dragon so I want you to imagine a dragon soaring over your village but instead of being a fire breathing dragon it's a grass breathing dragon everybody is running around in despair because they're afraid of being hit by an enormous grass balls that are flying from the dragon's mouth next we have dragon and bed so imagine tucking up your baby pet dragon in a big king size bed pulling the covers up over its little head and then sitting next to it and read it a fairy tale about dragons before it falls asleep and as I pointed out in the last video guys pause the video and go through these images in your mind if you're just listening to this it's not going to work next we have bed and school bag imagine finding a school bag with pictures of beds on it inside the school bag are tiny little beds as well the beds are of different sizes and different shapes some are circular beds some are triangle beds and others are square beds next we have school bag and baby babies are now being delivered with school bags on their backs doctors can't explain why this is happening but some parents are happy because they can put their baby in the school bag and carry them around in it again that's quite an unusual image but it's gonna stick in your mind next we have baby and pineapple pineapples are the new baby food imagine a baby wearing a bib that is covered in pineapple pieces because he is stuffing the pineapple into his mouth but soon he gets sick and there's pineapple vomit everywhere so imagine that disgusting scene of that pineapple vomit vomit everywhere next is pineapple and train imagine only being allowed to eat pineapple rated food on the train the train steward comes through selling pineapple juice pineapple lollipops and pineapple steak you order all three because you are hungry for pineapple next is train and footpath there are now miniature toy trains on each side of every footpath the trains travel in the direction that you're walking and they act as a boundary so you don't fall off the footpath if you walk the wrong way you hear a choo-choo sound which means turn around next is footpath and hat people are now required to wear massive hats when they walk on a footpath the hats cover their whole body and there are just two little holes near the top so they can see out with their eyes looking at, at it from afar it just looks like there are massive hats walking around on the footpath quite an easy image to remember again the last two we have hat and teeth the new trend is to wear hats that are made out of teeth everybody's doing it the favorite is the shark teeth which is a hat made out of long razor sharp shiny white teeth you can see people wearing them miles away because they stick so far up in the air lastly is teeth and carpet you place a carpet full of teeth that stick out of it in your front hallway to greet your friends and guests everybody must make their shoes and socks excuse me everybody must take off their shoes and socks and walk on the carpet of sharp teeth before they are allowed to pass now if you've gone through those pause the video and try to write down as many words from memory if you've imagined each image in your mind then you will have remembered all 20 words for the words that you have actually missed if you did miss some go back and reimagine the connected images in your mind here are the 20 items again and pause the video if you don't want to see them so you can write down but after you have written them down here they are broom cat cabbage magazine car tree chair milk washing machine grass dragon bed school bag baby pineapple train footpath hat teeth and carpet so again if you've memorized or if you've imagined all those connections then you will have 
all those words in your memory. Now the chain method is great because it allows you to quickly memorize a long chain of events. This will have been a little bit more drawn out because we're just learning the method. But now after you've learned the method, you're going to be able to do it very, very quickly. Now the only problem with the chain method is that if you forget one of the connections and break the link, sometimes you're going to find it difficult to remember all the words. And because of this, you should run through the sequence a few times in your head until it's locked in. Now once you have memorized all the 20 words using the chain method, you can move on to the next lecture of this section. And remember, you're not going to understand any of these if you don't go through the exercises and try them out for yourself. I agree, it's going to be a little bit of effort at the start because it's your first time doing this. But after you do it a few times, it's going to become very, very easy. And these methods are critical for you if you want to learn the more advanced and more beneficial memory techniques that we're going to go through in the next few lectures. So again, learn the 20 words. Once you have those, move on to the next section.